Hello, welcome to another video in this Rails API and uh, React series. So in this video, uh, again mentioning that this this particular video will be fully focused on uh, uh, UI only. So, but still, you will be learning something about React which you might have not applied anywhere. So let's do this. We will focus on our app only. Last time we created navbar and footer. So let's remove navbar and footer from here and now we will add features okay so for that i'll create a component called features new file features.jsx the ui for that will look something like this let me show it to you it will have six items and all so i'll just close this and let's start working towards this so we'll create a component again function sorry const features export default features okay now let's return also return from nav never not never actually from footer i'll co copy the code paste it here and get rid of the entire this thing okay and at the same time i will start using this feature so that we can actually see what's happening great so now in features uh, we want to show six different items right and in each of these items we have an icon a title and a description so let's first start by adding this incentives thing so for that uh, maybe h3 should be sufficient let me check Yes, incentives, great. Uh, I'll use class name, maybe something like text, Excel, font, medium, I'm not sure. I'm just trying out some things, okay. Maybe bold. Okay, for now that should be fine. And in that we will add six different items so to create six different items we can create six different devs uh, add them in a grid and show them but a better way would be to create a const uh, let's say features is equals to an array in which we'll have different objects let's get rid of this one and in this we will have what all things can we have Title, then description, and finally image. Okay, title will be something from the image. Monthly code challenges, comma, engage in this, comma. And for image, I'll copy the SVG code. So for that, let's go to hero icons. Video. Or what was this monthly code challenges, right? So for that, we have used code as an icon. So let's use code. Uh, let's copy this one. Okay, this is the first item that I'm creating. Later on, we'll create more. Add comma at the end. And we are getting that same error, but right now we won't focus on this. We'll see this later on, okay? And I'll fix the indentation. So this is the first object that we have created. Now what we will try to do is we'll try to traverse this object. So for that, uh, we can start using JSX. And inside that, we can use this features dot map We'll take each one of features, we'll get each of these features, and then we can return, let's say, for now, let's simply return, not h1 actually, p tag, feature.title. Key, key is missing. Okay, so there, there's a concept in React. You know that 
this entire code will get run again and again for all the features that we have. So for example, there are six features, right? So this same thing will get uh, run again and again. So to identify this P tag uniquely, React requires a unique key for this item. So for that, what we can do is we can pass an index also, and we can use that as a key. Or maybe, yeah, I will use index as the key, or you could have used a feature dot title also, because we know that all the titles will be unique in this, okay? <coughs> so let's see how it looks in our website. And we can see the title is visible, right? Now we just have to focus on creating this correctly. So I'll create a div here. We'll need this in multiple lines. So start using brackets. Missing key. Yeah. At the top root element, we have to mention keys. That's why. Now it has been fixed. Let's indent this. The paragraph tag is visible. Description. Also, we can write. So let's use description for that. And finally, we'll show image at the to top. So which is almost equivalent, actually not almost, it is exactly equivalent to SVG. So for that, we can use feature dot image. And the result for this is this, this type of code. Let's inspect this. And you can see div with an SVG, with P tag and with this description, right? So let's focus on improving this so for that uh maybe let's not focus on improving that before that focus on creating the content three and now let's copy this again and paste it right now we know this how we can fix this find we have fixed this and width also let's fix it for all Great. Anything else? Yes, class. So if we have something called as class equals to, which is at six times, and we have six objects and six features, so we know that we can change all of these to class name. Great. Okay, so we want to show them in a grid format. So let's start creating a grid. So grid will be outside of all these objects, right? So for that, I'll create a div. Yes, I'm just thinking actually, yeah, let's create a div here. Yes, we are getting error which is correct because it's not JSX. So we will create the div outside only. Div, close this div. Let's indent this. Okay, now let's convert this into grid class name grid by default. It will have only one item. Uh, sorry, grid columns one. And if it is large, it should be grid columns three. So three columns. And if it is bigger than this, then SM grid columns two. Great. Now two columns and finally one column, right? Now we just have to design this correctly. So I'll use for this entire div, I think I can use PY8. Great. We have a padding at top and bottom or maybe 12. Yes. And above that, I can use margin top 10. So this gap is visible and we can start fixing the UI for this. So for this one, for all the images, what I'll do is I'll use something like 20. Let's try 20. Yes, it looks like this. And if we compare it with our screenshot, it almost looks similar. Maybe we can decrease the stroke width. Great, looks good to me. Uh, maybe a bit smaller. 
yeah so this one is done so what it means is that we'll copy this find all of these h w6 h6 and paste all of these so again updated the result is this uh, we'll change the icons also so let's start by changing the text first video solutions on youtube personalized feedback let's do that video solutions on youtube someone is honking way too much in my neighborhood then learn from community finally diverse programming tasks and finally certificate achievement certificate of achievement by the way i have to generate certificate of achievement for the last winner also i am unable to get enough time to do that let's copy all of these things one by one i know it can might be kind of boring but the most important concept i have already taught which is using map and uh, react in jsx basically so learn from community has happened feedback receive receive feedback and suggestions yes and access great what's next video solutions on youtube so let's do that youtube nope video copy svg i'll copy this svg but i only need this part so i'll get rid of everything else and i'll paste this again we are getting this error but we will update all of these together what's next personalized feedback right so for that i'm using this let's go to hero icons feedback icons 8 What else we can use as word for feedback? Report, message. Yeah, I'll use this message part. So personalized feedback. Again, I just need the path. I don't need SVG and all because we have already set the properties and also I don't want to do all of these changes again. What's next? Uh, learn from community. So for community, we are using this icon. People, community, team. What else? I'm unable to find correct icon for this. Person, people, community. This I can then run or a user group. Okay, user group. Let's use user group for now. Learn from community. Yes. Great. Next is diverse programming task. For that one, I have used computer and finally trophy or something. computer yes wait yes now it is copied There's some blank space at the end. I'm just trying to fix that. And finally, trophy might be hard to find. Oh, okay, we do have it. So let's use that also. Great, now let's finally fix these things, which is 
एस टी आर ओ के एल ग्रेट ऑल ऑफ दीज आर फिक्स इट टूक सम टाइम बट वी हैव दिस एंड फाइनली वॉट वन थिंग वील फिक्स विच इज दिस वन वी वॉन्ट दिस टू बी अट सटल ग्रेट ऑल ऑफ दीज आर फिक्स नाउ लेट्स स्टार्ट फोकसिंग ऑन गिविंग इट्स एम स्पेस इन ऑल दो थिंग्स सो क्लास नेम पी वाई टू और मे बी सम वॉट मोर पी वाई फोर यस लेट्स चेंज दिस ऑल्सो क्लास नेम फॉन्ट मीडियम टेक्स्ट लार्ज ग्रेट एंड मार्जिन टॉप फोर ग्रेट लेट्स यूज द सेम क्लासेस for our description also but we'll make some changes which is we'll make it base and by default it will be regular only so let's not focus on these things it looks better but the color code here is a bit different so let's focus on that text bg no text gray 600 yes and let's get rid of this and use text small good looks good but margin top needs to be there okay so these are the items incentives that we have added uh, maybe i need to increase the text size for incentives so maybe 2x and reduce this to 6 so that it looks much more clearer and if we reduce the width size uh, sorry width here maybe we need padding not padding actually gap x 2 and gap y 4 and we that way we can get rid of this yes not sure if it is working or not A space yes i think it is a space let's make it 20 and we can see now it is fully distorted so this was correct and maybe let's make it 20 and we can see again this is creating problem so two should be correct but it is creating problem for this also because after this item it is creating a space for this we don't want that it's it's not ideal actually grid no gap x to gap y to yes and in this y should be 4 no it's still not working so let's stick to what we had earlier sometimes you try things and it does not work it's fine you can try to find that solution on tailwind it should not be that hard i know that it should be there okay 20 is working that means it is also working so maybe we need to be a bit more okay so all of these are working uh, and i'm happy the way they are working it it looks good to me obviously someone who is much more experienced in ui can definitely improve it further uh, but i think it's fine for me and there is one thing that what's next what's next it's 20 minutes and the next one should be hero item so what i'll do is for hero item i won't do much in this particular video i'll just create the ui directly in the next video and show it to you directly uh, so and i'll pause the video so that you can see the content of the hero item and all those things uh, it's just that i don't want to give too much time in in uh, ui related things obviously we will make one change which is i will categorize these folders in a much more better way uh and we will like we will introduce similar to components we will introduce pages we will introduce elements uh we will introduce containers uh, but at that time we will focus on the ui in terms of structuring the ui not on their css properties and all those things right so 
that's it for now uh thank you bye bye